Good morning, everybody. What are y'all up to? We are just hanging out, vegging. Babes are playing. Unfortunately, they are picking on each other, and well, he's making her cry because he's taking everything from her. But um, that's what happens around here. Some days are better than others. He just seems to be liking <laughs> ruffling her feathers. So, um, but I wanted to share with you guys how good weaning is going. I started last Monday. I tried almond milk um, for them again just to see if they would like it. It had been about, I don't know, a month or two since I had tried before. And they liked it and they are drinking it. I mean, we are going through it. Um, so that's the only thing is my boob milk's free, but almond milk's like three bucks a thing. Um, so we are going through a thing of almond milk about every two days, two or three days. Um, and that's just with weaning out the afternoon. So they still get nursed in the morning and they once, and they still get nursed um, to, to sleep. And my plan, <laughs> hi baby, my plan today, what, your foot, did you get your foot out? These pajamas are a little baggy for him because he grows fast. Did I fix it? Um, I was going to cut out the morning nursing starting this week and then do a week with no morning and just nighttime. And then the following week cut out, cut out middle of the night nursing if that's what happened. And then the week after that, week four, cut out the nursing to sleep. So the plan was within four weeks to have um, them weaned. That still may or may not happen. I guess it depends. But today I did not skip the morning. Um, Sissy woke up at like 11 and nursed. And then Tristan woke up at 3.30ish and nursed. And then he woke up again like 20 minutes later. And I was like, no, 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 I am not nursing you. So I told Jeff to get up, go get his almond milk from the fridge and to rock him and tell him to go night night. But as soon as Jeff went in there, then Tristan was like screaming, crying. Because Jeff doesn't do middle of the nights. He hasn't since they were little. I mean, I've done it. Um, once I got them both to be weaned, for, or both to nurse, versus me pumping and then taking bottles, then he no longer has done middle of the night anythings. Um, so they're not used to him going in there, but I want them to get used to it. And um, So anyways, he was bawling really loud, and I didn't want Sydney to wake up. So I went in there and I grabbed him and hugged him and told him, shh, go nine nights. And I laid him in his crib with his almond milk and um, his doggy. And I said, go nine nights, it's nighttime. And I never heard a peep from him again. And he didn't, he slept till what, like 6.30, almost 7 maybe? Yeah. Oh, milk, yeah. Good boy. <laughs> yeah. um, and so then um, Sydney woke up about... I don't know, 7-ish, a little after 7, 7.15 maybe. And then I did nurse her. But she didn't nurse that long. And then we came downstairs and she drank a lot of almond milk. So I'm thinking she's ready for me to skip it. And then um, the only problem is Kristen, that weird hour. So I'm going to start tomorrow and do the no morning nurse and then see how it goes. But I'm really happy with where we're at. It's not that, I mean... I enjoyed nursing. Um, it just got to the point where they were just whining at me all the time and pulling on my shirt all the time. And um, I just, I felt like it wasn't healthy anymore. I mean, all they were doing was clinging on me, crying for me, wanting wanting the boob but not wanting the boob. Like, it was a fight with each other. Like, oh, you're going to have it? Well, I want it. No, you can't have it. That's mine. And then they would... Um, you know, like, Sydney would cry about it and pull up my shirt, and I'd give it to her, and then she'd, like, nurse for two seconds, and then I'd, you know, put my shirt back up, and then she'd pull at me because she noticed I pulled my shirt back up and then won it again. So it was a silly game, and they don't need it anymore. I mean, of course, I know breast milk is good, and people do it for, you know, a long time, but like I said, the fact that they would just cry, cry, cry because they wanted it. I mean, that's not, they wouldn't even play. They would just cling on me and cry. So it just became too much. So I think, um, and they've done really good. I mean, they haven't pulled on my shirt. They're not, they're crying and whining just because of like trying to communicate and, 
you know, frustrations with each other or they're tired and that kind of thing. But, I mean, there's been a huge change even just with them going to their dad, going to Jeff and loving on him. And, like, they'll both cry and whine and want him to pick up. And I, like, truly enjoy that. I'm like, this is nice. <laughs> they want you. A nice change, you know. And he's... He, he likes it, you know, he comes home from work and they run to him, and I'm happy about that, I want that, I mean, Jeff used to make comments like, oh, I bet you like that, you know, that they're both whining or both want me, and I'm like, of course I love that they love me, but I don't relish in that, like, I want them to go to you, I want them to love you, I want, you know, more than just me to be the one that can console them and hug them and love them, um, so I'm happy that, you know, there's a change, and so I think when I'm not nursing at all like um they'll even create a closer bond with Jeff and that's great I mean that's what I want um and so that's going good just going to continue on with um nursing and get it to where hopefully within a month ish that um we're done nursing I'm also doing it gradually because I had mastitis like three or four times um at the beginning after I had them, and I do not like this, I mean, who does, but it's just horrible, and so I'm trying to make it so that my body is, you know, it's on demand, so by cutting out one gradually, like, I don't have, I don't want to make me more at risk for having a clogged duct or getting mastitis, so I figure doing a week at a time is probably a good length of time for my body to adjust and my milk supply to adjust, and the first couple days, I could definitely feel like I was full, like it was a relief to nurse at night, and now it's not, um, I don't have that, like, really full feeling anymore, which is nice, um, because I don't like that. So, starting tomorrow, we'll attempt skipping, or we will skip morning nursing, and then go for a week on that and see how it goes. The other factor of me, um cutting back and weaning is, as you guys know, we want to go for baby number three, and I don't know how the fertility, hi silly, clinic will be here, um, as far as it being okay, me nursing while going through it, I don't take any medicine, or like have any, um, I do like a natural cycle, and I'll explain that more when I actually go through the process, but like I wouldn't be taking anything that would affect them. My only thought is the whole, my hormone levels and things and stuff, I don't want to, um, with going through everything, it's not like we're trying to get pregnant naturally or anything, um, with going through the process and everything, I don't want there to be any factors that make it where I, you know, it's not a successful transfer, so that's my other reasoning behind, behind, um, be nice, please, please be nice, behind we, but I mean, all in all, I'm really happy about it. This is what's going on. You can't take from him, you don't like him taking from you, that's not nice. Sydney does not understand, she doesn't want anything taken from her. And she gets really mad. But see, she wasn't playing with that Mike Wazowski. And now she wants it. It's just craziness. You guys actually slept good, pretty much. And didn't wake up at 5 or 6 in the morning. You started at 7. Why are you so fussy, sissy? What? You tell me. I actually painted my toes last night. Can you see? I painted them red. Red. What do you want? He's trying to tell me he wants M-I-L-K and he's being really cute. Where is it? That's the first time he's really told me, your milk is over there. Because I show him, so when I say, do you want your M-I-L-K, that kind, yes, good boy, then at first, the first day that I did that, he, like, looked at me, and he didn't understand, and so now I'm trying to make it where I don't sign, if I ask him if he wants milk, then I give him that milk, if at nighttime, when it's time to nurse, I say, do you want milk, and point to me, and then he gets a big smile, so I'm trying to help him differentiate what milk and what milk, <laughs> so he's doing really good. Hey, little sister, what's going on? What's going on, babies? What's going on, babies? Are you having a hard day?
Babies are napping, so I am trying to clean up the garage. These are all the boxes like I've saved from stuff. Um, I'm going to do a project uh, that fireplace. Uh, I saw some moms doing it, and it's on Pinterest, where you make a fireplace out of wood boxes. So since I'm doing like a fake paper tree, I'm going to do the fireplace too. So I'm trying to organize the boxes and see how many I need and what I need for it and kind of tape them together, and then that way I can get rid of the rest. Taking a little quick lunch break while I can. But our garage, like everything, it's just been put in it. And then when the babies, you know, are crawling on stuff or whatever, you know, like it's our go-to put in the garage, put in the garage. So I am getting it there. This is kind of organized and lined up of what we need. And then like their toys that I rotate in and out are lined up. And then this, I'm trying to like condense, see how there's like all these partials from moving. So I'm trying to get like like ones together. Like this stack is all done that's all like baby stuff that we don't use anymore but i'm holding on to empty ones for when we move this is a mishmash once you get through the floaty things then um it's organized back there but this just we've kind of dropped off everything there and then a little bit over here to do um but it looks worse than it is i just have to take the time see how that's all nice and organized take the time to um get there but I'm trying to work on that because it's been bothering me because uh, it's hard to get around or maneuver things. And then I brought the high chairs back in because I've been bringing them in and out as I watch kids anyway. Um, but my thought is I want to start doing crafts with the babies and I don't want them free roaming because if we're doing markers or crayons or like I want to do some of the like safe edible like dough and what else have I seen like slime and all that stuff that if they eat it won't hurt them but I don't want it getting everywhere so we'll do craft time in their high chairs so I just pulled those back in I'm going to take the covers off and wash them and then also that way they're in here if I need them if I watch Everett again or whatever I'm kind of her backup person right now and then I'm in the midst of talking with um, a couple that has almost two-year-old boy-girl twins that live here in town that need care. So we just started talking yesterday through uh, Facebook Messenger. So we'll see if that works out for me to watch them. And then I'll have two sets of twins, mine and theirs. And they're close in age, so actually it'd be pretty cool for our playmates. Um, so I'm kind of hoping that it works out. And then that would be a Monday through Friday 7 to 5 thing. And then I'll work the dollar store on the weekends. Well, check it out. <laughs> Haven't seen these guys in their high chairs in a while. I got their seats all cleaned. I wiped them completely down, like scrub them because they've been in the garage. They really weren't that bad. The covers were a little dirty, so I washed and dried those. And then I just completely wiped them down with um, spray so that they could be our craft chairs, but they were like all interested in what I was doing when I was putting the covers on. I was like, oh, you guys want to go sit in them and check them out and have some snacks? Because they're not eating very good. I think it might have to do with the fact that the almond milk, like, offering it so much. I'm only doing that right now because I'm trying to get them to wean off nursing. So once they're completely weaned, then, like, maybe we'll offer milk, like, morning, after lunch, and after dinner. Or something like that. Uh, yeah, probably that's how it would be because then it would put, replace my milk. But right now I just want them, like, if they're willing to drink it or they want to drink it, I'm, like, okay with it because I want to encourage and support that so that they continue to drink that and wean. Um, so, anyways, here they are chilling. I thought I'd pull out maybe some markers or crayons or do something with them. Bob woke up way before Sis, so he's already dressed. And then I've got Sissy's clothes ready to get her dressed. But they've just been running around. I didn't end up getting to making the fireplace thing. These are the only boxes I have that are like similar sizes. And it's not enough to stack them. So then I looked on Pinterest to see. And it basically like people are buying boxes from Home Depot or something. And then that way they're all the same size. And then doing it that way and then covering them in white butcher paper and either using red construction paper as the blocks or using like a paint um like a square or rectangle paint thing like sponge painting almost um so we'll see if i end up doing that or not i don't really want to go buy a box the thing i really want to do is the christmas tree and i'm going to do whether i do white or yeah maybe i just end up doing white butcher paper and then color it with a marker 
I don't know, something, because I'm not buying a roll of green butcher paper, and I have no idea where you can just get, like, a piece of it. Um, I might check out Hobby Lobby, um, this weekend, and that way we can get that, um, in the process of working on. And, um, what else is going on? I don't know, not much. Just been working on the garage and doing what I could there while they were sleeping, and now they're just being cute little love bugs full of spit and vinegar. Hey, yo, what you doing? What you doing? Hey! What you doing? <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> You're crazy. What you doing? <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> got some Elmo coloring book for Bubba's. Oh, it's so pretty. And we got a Hello Kitty coloring book for Sissy. Yay! Bobby, say yay! I see your little eyebrow going up and down. Wow! Is this fun, guys? Go yay! We're coloring in our high chairs. Look it. Yeah! Are you having a good time? Here, you color on the page. Go scribble, 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 scribble. I wonder if you do it with the point, it's easier. Here, go. Here, put it in this hand. Like this. And scribble, scribble, scribble. There you go, big boy. What you doing, sis? Hi, you having a good time? <laughs> Hi, baby. Go scribble, scribble, scribble. Don't eat it, okay? These are not edible. You go scribble, 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 scribble. Yay! Yay! Project of the day. I had some boxes. I covered them with construction paper. We had some stickers of mini, and we had some stickers of monsters. So we put those all over it and then I taped it with packing tape all the way around because otherwise they will pick at the paper and pick at the stickers and tear it all apart. So this way they can play with them and look at them and point at them, but they can pick all they want and they can't open them up. Do you like those? So pretty much I did it while they watched. I tried having them help put stickers on, but these stickers are like cardboard stickers and they would fall right off. So I just made them really quick so they could play with them. So I think they liked the end result. They weren't happy waiting for me making them, but I hurried as fast as I could. You like them? You got monsters? Mini? Yeah. How weird is this? This is the second time, what, within a few days, that we have found a ladybug in the house. And it is alive. It's cold. It's like in the 20s and 30s outside. And it's a live little ladybug. Crazy, huh?